Good morning, everyone. Dr. Victoria Scarbo here, speaking to you from the Seeds of Transformation Healing Center in Wareham, Massachusetts. Today is Thursday. <laughs> I think about that. January 21st or Friday, January 22nd, if you're in Australia and New Zealand. Uh, the moon is in Taurus all day. And uh, the moon makes a early morning. It's already happened, but you can certainly feel it. Uh, a conjunction to both Uranus and Mars. And so we kind of wake up with perhaps a nervous energy. Uh, and one in which we want to sort uh, accomplishing things. <laughs> uh, we may have a little bit of a hangover, however, from yesterday's festivities. Uh, <laughs> So um, we also have, uh, which also already happened, most things already happened before I even got out here today, um, <clears throat> but again, we can feel the energy, uh, the sun, um, excuse me, the moon in Taurus makes a square to Jupiter in Aquarius. It is a uh, first quarter, is it? It's a last quarter crisis in consciousness square between the moon and Jupiter and um, is it <laughs> so sorry guys it's a first quarter crisis in action square thank you I thought so and then I I I second guessed myself which wasn't a good thing to do <laughs> don't second guess yourself today um, anyway um, there's actually uh, it's a prelude to uh, Later tomorrow evening or early Friday morning, Saturday morning, Saturday morning, when um, Mars makes a square to Jupiter. So we can start feeling that energy. Uh, this will be the last first quarter square of Mars to Jupiter. Um, they occurred, two of them occurred um, in 2020. Uh, one in, I think it was June or July, and the other one in October, the one in October, uh, or right around there, I'm not exactly sure it was October, uh, where when Mars was retrograde. So this is part of that uh, Mars-Jupiter, Mars-Saturn, uh, 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 first quarter square that has been trying to occur um, since the summer. Uh, three, three uh, what is it? Um, What's that expression? Uh, three times a charm. And so uh, we can, we do, we feel like we're moving forward, don't we, people? We feel like finally, finally, we're moving forward. And so there is a lot of energy uh, for that. As um, Americans here in the United States, and you know, I hate to always bring us up, but you know, there's a lot happening here uh, that has uh, influence on, on America, certainly, and the world. Uh, there is this sense of promise, uh, there's a sense of newness, there's a sense of getting things back, um, but the one thing I think we have to be very aware of, and this is something we're going to be aware of all year, uh, is that revolution occurs for a reason, and if we don't deal with the reasons, um, we're going to waste the pain, suffering, and energy that we went through um, through 2020 and previous to that, actually, if you know what I'm talking about. Um, so what I want to say is um, forward motion is now possible. Uh, we just have to keep our eye on the prize, and that prize is equality. Uh, one of the things, um, I listen to Democracy Now! every morning, and um, one of the things that I came away from, from this, uh, uh, this, this attempted coup on democracy was uh, that, you know, this is a reality for many countries because of uh, the actions of America. And we finally got a taste of our own medicine. And the first thing I heard today about the, uh, 
I think it was the um, the person in charge of the Defense Department. No, it wasn't Defense. Um, no, Secretary of State. I think Secretary of State uh, was that um, they still um, they still recognize Guaido as the as the ruler of Venezuela, except that. <laughs> The guy, Maduro, was democratically elected in Venezuela. And so we went right back to the old uh, democracy is good for us and democracy is good for other countries if we agree with who gets in. And uh, that is going to blow up in our face, guys. That's the kind of duplicitous, hip hypocritic stuff that got, us in the, in the pro that got us in these problems in the first place. And while I don't really want this to be a, a political statement necessarily, uh, just an awareness uh, of, you know, that whole what's good for the goose is good for the gander. Uh, we were the goose for a while. We've always been the gander, and now we're the goose. And, uh, or, I don't know, is the gander the person who takes care of the goose? I don't know. Anyway... We've walked in other people's moccasins. Let's not forget that lesson. And let's uh, move forward, which is what we're doing now, in such a way that we keep those things in mind. Um, and we don't go back to the old ways. Because if we go back to the old ways, um, we will not succeed. Or we may eventually succeed... Uh, but more pain is, is on the way. And so I think we've had plenty of pain. We've had plenty of pain and we've created plenty of pain in the, in the world. So let's start acting uh, like loving, caring, compassionate human beings. I guess you have to start at home, but let's not forget the lesson. All right, guys, like and subscribe. Have yourself a great day. I don't know about you, but I feel like I've breathed the first time in four years. It feels good. <sighs> Keep breathing, guys. Keep breathing. Much love. See you again soon. Bye.